In this video, we're going to look at using trig substitution to evaluate a definite integral. We have the integral from 0 to 2 thirds of x squared all over the square root of 4 minus 9x squared. So we know the first thing that we want to ask ourselves is um, what form do we have here? Is this the a squared minus x squared, x squared minus a squared, or x squared plus a squared form? Um, well, I have 4 minus 9x squared, so that looks like a number squared minus a variable thing squared. So it looks like we're in this um, first category. Remember, that was associated with x equals a sine theta. So we can use this idea to set up our trig substitution here. So notice that what I have is really like 2 squared minus 3x squared. Okay, so instead of having... Um, x equal to something for the substitution, I'm going to have my whole variable thing, which is 3x equal to 2 sine theta. Okay, I see my a is equal to 2 here, since I have 4 or 2 squared for the a squared term. So this means that x is equal to 2 thirds sine theta. Okay, and then we need to go ahead and figure out what dx is equal to. So dx will be 2 thirds cosine theta, d theta. Okay. So we know that after we've determined the form and found our x and dx, we need to go ahead and rewrite this integral. So what's going to be new about having a definite integral is that I'm going to have to change the limits. So notice that these here are x limits. And when I rewrite my integral here, I'm going to need theta limits. Okay, so let's work with the integrand part first. Um, x squared is going to become 2 thirds sine theta squared. The dx part is 2 thirds cosine theta d theta. Okay, and then I have my square root, which will be the square root of 4 minus well, what's 9x squared going to be? Well, 3x is 2 sine theta, so 9x squared, which is 3x squared, will be 2 sine theta squared. In other words, it's going to be 4 sine squared theta. So I have 4 sine squared theta here. Okay, so what about the limits? So when, let me see, let me write this in a different color here. So when x is equal to 0, I'm going to have 0 equals 2 thirds sine theta, or 0 equals sine theta, okay? And I know the angle here that makes sine equal to 0 is 0. Remember, when I'm solving here for theta, I'm restricted to having theta be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So our lower bound here is going to still be 0, 0 in terms of theta now. So what about the upper bound? Well, the upper bound was 2 thirds. So when x is equal to 2 thirds, I would have 2 thirds equals 2 thirds sine theta, okay? Using our variable substitution here, that x is equal to 2 thirds sine theta. This means 1 is equal to sine theta, okay? And the angle in the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, where sine theta would be 1, is where theta equals pi over 2. So our new integral here will be an integral from 0 to pi over 2. So notice that these are now limits in terms of theta, and I have everything here in my problem in terms of theta, so I'm never going to have to go back to x. I'm just going to be able to val evaluate this um, all with those theta limits. So let's look at doing the next step. So we know that with these, these trig subs, we would set up the form, we would rewrite the um, integral in terms of our new variable, and then I'm going to look at using the Pythagorean identity, right? So I have 4 minus 4 sine squared theta under my root. If I factor out 4, this gives me four times the quantity, one minus sine squared theta. And I know that 
1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. Okay, so we can replace our 4 minus 4 sine squared theta with 4 cosine squared theta. So I'm going to have, let me rewrite this equal sign over here, this integral from 0 to pi over 2. What's in the um, numerator here, I see I've got 2 thirds squared, so that's 4 ninths, but then times 2 thirds, that would be 8 over 27, we have sine squared theta, cosine theta d theta, and this is all over the square root of 4 cosine squared theta. Okay, so we know we can simplify what's under that square root. So we have this integral from 0 to pi over 2. I can take this 8 over 27 um, out in front. And I have sine squared theta, cosine theta, d theta, all over my square root of 4 cosine squared theta, which is going to be 2 cosine theta. Okay, so notice that I'm going to get those cosine thetas to cancel, and I can also use that divided by 2 there to simplify my 8 over 27. So I'm going to have 4 over 27, 0 to pi over 2, now of just sine squared theta. Okay, so we know that um, with these trig set problems, we often end up with a trig integral. This is one of our types of trig integrals that we had in section 7.2. This is where I have an even power of sine. So we have to think back to how we handled even powers of sine by itself. Um, when we have an even power of sine, we're going to use that half angle or power reducing identity, not the Pythagorean identity. So we're going to replace our sine squared with sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta all over 2. Okay, so we're going to have 4 over 27, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 minus cosine 2 theta all over 2 d theta. And we can again get a little bit of simplification. This is 2 over 27 then times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 minus cosine 2 theta. So now we're ready to take the antiderivative and then plug in those limits. So notice we don't have to use the um, triangle here because I'm not trying to get it back in terms of x. I already figured out what my, my limits were in terms of theta. I'm just going to be able to use these new limits. So I have 2 over 27. This would be theta minus sine 2 theta over 2 for the antiderivative. And this is evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. So we can plug in pi over 2 minus when we plug in pi over 2 here for theta, we're going to end up with sine of pi, and we know that sine of pi is 0. And then I would end up with 0 minus sine of 0, which is again 0. So this nicely simplifies to pi over 27. So again, to remind ourselves what we are integrating, this is the integral from 0 to 2 thirds. of x squared over the square root of 4 minus 9x squared dx.